Allium trichocum, Wikipedia article audio. Allium trichocum is a North American species of wild onion widespread across eastern Canada and the eastern United States. Many of the English names are also used for other Allium species, particularly the similar Allium ursinum which is native to Europe and Asia. Allium trichocum is a bulb-forming perennial with broad, smooth, light green leaves, often with deep purple or burgundy tints on the lower stems, and a scallion-like stalk and bulb. Both the white lower leaf stalks and the broad green leaves are edible. The flower stalk appears after the leaves have died back, unlike the similar Allium ursinum, in which leaves and flowers can be seen at the same time. Ramps grow in close groups strongly rooted just beneath the surface of the soil. Description Taxonomy Allium trichocum was first named in 1789 by the Scottish botanist William A. Edone, in Hortus cuensis, a catalogue of plants cultivated in London's Kew Botanic Garden. The species had been introduced to Britain in 1770. The specific epithet trichocum refers to the possession of three seeds. As of May 2014, the World Checklist of Selected Plant Families accepts two varieties. This treatment is followed by other sources, although the two taxa are sometimes treated as two species, Allium trichocum and Allium burdicii. A trichocum var. Burdicii was first described by Clarence Robert Haynes in 1953. The epithet Burdicii is in honor of J.H. Burdick, who pointed out differences between what were then regarded as different races in letters to A.S.A. Gray. The variety was raised to a full species by Almut Gutter Jones in 1979. The two varieties are distinguished by several features. A trichocum var. Trichocum is generally larger than a trichocum var. Burdicii, the bulbs are larger, the leaves are usually 5 9 cm wide rather than 2 4 cm wide, and the umbels typically have 30 50 flowers rather than 12 18. Additionally, the leaf stalks and leaf sheaths are usually purplish in var. Trichocum and white in var. Burdicii. The leaves of var. Burdicii also have less distinct stalks than those of var. Trichocum. In Canada, ramps are considered rare delicacies. Since the growth of ramps is not as widespread there as in Appalachia and because of destructive human practices, ramps are a threatened species in Quebec. Allium trichocum is a protected species under Quebec legislation. A person may have ramps in his or her possession outside the plant's natural environment, or may harvest it for the purposes of personal consumption in an annual quantity not exceeding 50 bulbs or 50 plants, provided those activities do not take place in a park within the meaning of the National Parks Act. The protected status also prohibits any commercial transactions of ramps, this prevents restaurants from serving ramps as is done in the United States. Failure to comply with these laws is punishable by a fine. However, the law does not always stop poachers, who find a ready market across the border in Ontario, where ramps may be legally harvested and sold. Conservation Ramps are considered a species of special concern for conservation in Maine, Rhode Island, and Tennessee. They are also considered commercially exploited in Tennessee. Ramp festivals may encourage harvest in unsustainable quantities. According to West Virginia University botanist Earl L. Corr, the widespread use in southern Appalachia of the term ramps derives from Old English. Common name 
The name Ramps is one of the many dialectical variants of the English word Ramson, a common name of the European bear leek, a broad-leaved species of garlic much cultivated and eaten in salads, a plant related to our American species. The Anglo-Saxon ancestor of Ramson was Ramsa, and Ramson was the Old English plural, the N being retained as in oxen, children, etc. The word is cognate with Rams, in German, Danish, Swedish, and Norwegian, and with the Greek chromuon, garlic. Right S English dialect dictionary lists as variants Rame, Ramp, Ramps, Rams, Ramsden, Ramsey, Ramsh, Ramses, Ramsey, Rami, and Roms, mostly from Northern England and Scotland. Allium trichocum is popular in the cuisines of the rural uplands of its native region. It is regarded as an early spring vegetable with a strong garlic-like odor and a pronounced onion flavor. Ramps also have a growing popularity in restaurants throughout North America. The plant's flavor, a combination of onions and strong garlic, is adaptable to numerous cooking styles. In central Appalachia, ramps are most commonly fried with potatoes in bacon fat or scrambled with eggs and served with bacon, pinto beans, and cornbread. Ramps can also be pickled or used in soups and other foods in place of onions and garlic. Culinary Uses and Festivals Chicago received its name from a dense growth of ramps near Lake Michigan in Illinois country observed in the 17th century. The Chicago River was referred to by the plant's indigenous name, according to explorer Robert Cavalier, Sieur de la Salle, and by his comrade, the naturalist and diarist Henri Jutel. The plant, called Chicaque in the language of local native tribes, was once thought to be Allium cernuum, the nodding wild onion, but research in the early 1990s showed the correct plant was the ramp. History and Folklore The ramp has strong associations with the folklore of the central Appalachian Mountains. Fascination and humor have fixated on the plant's extreme pungency. Jim Comstock, editor and co-owner of the Richwood News Leader, introduced ramp juice into the printer's ink of one issue as a practical joke, invoking the ire of the U.S. Postmaster General. Conservation Status Within the United States The inhabitants of Appalachia have long celebrated spring with the arrival of the ramp, believing it to be a tonic capable of warding off many winter ailments. Indeed, Ramp's vitamin and mineral content did bolster the health of people who went without many green vegetables during the winter. It is listed as a special concern in Maine and Rhode Island, and as a special concern and commercially exploited in Tennessee. As a Noxious Weed Allium is listed as a noxious weed in Arkansas. The Menominee, Cherokee, Iroquois, Potawatomi, and Ojibwe all consume the plant in their traditional cuisines. The Cherokee also eat the plant as a spring tonic, for colds, and for croup. They also use the warm juice for earaches. The Ojibwe use a decoction as a quick-acting emetic. The Iroquois also a decoction of the root to treat worms in children and they also use the decoction as a spring tonic to clean you out. Native American Ethnobotany Cuisine Allium trichocum var Burdekai I. Haines, Allium trichocum var Trichocum The community of Richwood, West Virginia, holds the annual Feast of the Ramson in April. Sponsored by the National Ramp Association, the Ramp Feed brings thousands of ramp aficionados from considerable distances to sample foods featuring the plant. During the ramp season, 
restaurants in the town serve a wide variety of foods containing ramps. The city of Elkins, West Virginia, hosts the Ramps and Rails Festival during the last weekend in April of each year. This festival features a cook off and ramp eating contests, and is attended by several hundred people each year. The town of Cosby, Tennessee, bordering Great Smoky Mountains National Park, has held the largest and one of the oldest ramp festivals in the United States, the Cosby Ramp Festival, on the first weekend in May since 1954. The festival has played host to as many as 30,000 visitors in years past, has been attended by ex-president Harry Truman, and has featured such notable musical acts as Tennessee Ernie Ford, Eddie Arnold, Roy Acuff, Bill Monroe, Minnie Pearl, and Brenda Lee. Besides the food, heritage music, dancing, and adulation of the ramp, each year a young woman is crowned made of ramps. The community of Flag Pond, Tennessee, hosts its annual ramp festival on the second Saturday each May. The festival features a wide variety of ramp inspired foods, and includes music from an assortment of Appalachian groups. Hundreds of people attend the festival each year. The community of Whitop, Virginia, holds its annual Ramp Festival the third weekend in May. It is sponsored by the Mount Rogers Volunteer Fire Department and features local music from Wayne Henderson and other bands, along with a barbecued chicken feast complete with fried potatoes and ramps and local green beans. A ramp eating contest is held for children and adults, an annual ramp convention in Haywood County. North Carolina has drawn as many as 4,000 participants a year since its inception circa 1925. The community of Huntington, W.V. holds an annual ramp festival referred to as Stink Fest. It is hosted by the Wild Ramp, an indoor farmer's market. Medicinal Use <laughs>